So one of our research area is to understand the mechanism regulating exon mitochondria transport and its impact on the mitochondrial quality control in health and in disease. Together with co first author of the study, Drs. Mei Yaoling and Xiu Tan Chen, we discuss our findings published in Yulang. Our studies reveal a new mechanism maintaining exon mitochondrial integrity by releasing anchoring protein synthophily from stressed mitochondria. This process is required for the removal of the dysfunctional mitochondria from distal axons under physiological and pathological conditions. Mitochondria undergo long distance transport to distal axons to meet high energy demands. Clonical mitochondrial stress and impaired transport has been implicated in major neurodegenerative diseases. The early removal of defective mitochondria from axons constitutes a critical step of mitochondrial quality control. Pink parking pathways has been well characterized as a key mechanism of mitochondrial quality control. However, neurons often show delayed parking mediate metophage in response to mitochondrial depolarization. Our previous studies identified syndophilin as a static anchor that immobilizes exon mitochondria. Deleting syndophilin robustly increases exon mitochondrial transport. Modal and syndophilin play opposite role in regulating exon mitochondrial motility. This raises a fundamental question. Can releasing syndophilin from static stressed mitochondrial remobilized and remove them from distal axons. Acute mitochondrial depolarization with high dose CCCP or antimycin A has been widely used to study mitophagy. These approaches, however, prevent investigation into the early stage of mitochondrial quality control. We examine the oxygen consumption rate OCA following antimycin A treatment with various dosages and durations. A high dose antimycin A causes a sudden reduction of OCA within 30 minutes. In contrast, a low dose antimycin A gradually reduces OCA over 6 hours. Such a delay reduction could be partially reversed after removing antimycin A from the medium. After 6 hour antimycin A treatment, we detect no parking translocation to mitochondria. Only with a prolonged treatment to 30 hours, parking translocation occurs, but is mainly found in the soma. This 30-hour window suggests an early mechanism that maintains axonal mitochondrial quality. Axonal mitochondria remain highly motile under mild stress conditions that enhance retrograde transport from 17% to 33%. Syntophilin, but not the other mitochondrial outer membrane proteins, is selectively reduced as early as 6 hours of 5 nanomolar antimycin A treatment. Immunoelectromicroscopy reveals that syntophilin is scattered along the surface of axonal mitochondria in control condition, whereas antimycin treatment triggers the budding process of syntophilin. This mild stress significantly reduces the density of syntophilin labeled gold particles on the mitochondrial surface. Given the small size of syntophilin cargo vesicles, we next apply static microscopy to monitor the dynamic bulk release of syntophilin from axonal mitochondria. The release of syntophilin from axonal mitochondria were readily observed, indicating a fast pinching out of bulk syntophilin in the form of cargo vesicles in response to mild mitochondrial stress. After budding from mitochondria, the majority of syntophilin cargo vesicles undergo retrograde transport towards soma. This motility pattern is similar to that of late anosomes raising a question as to whether syntophilin vesicles ride on late endosomes for retrograde transport. To address this question, we co-express syntophilin with REP7. As the rep 7 label late endosome passes by a stationary mitochondria, it carries a newly generated syntophilin cargo vesicle and then co-transport in the retrograde direction towards the soma. 
A surface 3D reconstitution reveals distant filling structure being wrapped by RAP7. By examining amyotrophic lateral sclerosis related Southern mice and Alzheimer disease related APP mice, we found that center filling cargo vesicles are robustly increased in the diseased axons. The selective release of center filling from pathologically stressed mitochondria enhances their transport to the soma for turnover or recovery in the early disease stages. The altogether, our studies suggest that generation of center filling cargo vesicles ensure a quick response of mitochondrial to physiological and pathological stress. Dysfunctional mitochondrial that are anchored in the distal axons could be remobilized and transported back to the soma, thus maintaining mitochondrial integrity in distal axons before parking mediate metophage is activated.